Hello, we are beanies. Well, <sighs> I first I'd like to discuss to you about um my second day of school. <sighs> Excuse me, I have gas. <sighs> Sorry for starting this out like this, but I feel like I got a burp, and I hate to talk when I feel like I have a burp almost on the well, you know. Because I'm drinking um, Coca-Cola Zero. Anyway, um, yeah. So, I had my second day of school on Thursday. And again, I'm auditing the class in Churchy Theater. And I was shown the auditorium. Um, the auditorium is a small one compared to the one downtown. So that's all we did and we also um, watched this clip about the uh, guy, I forgot his name though, but he's dead. And she talked about this bipolar lady that I can't remember her name to either. So um, she said she's gonna have that lady come and, she, and that lady is an actress. She was on, on a bunch of films. I think her name is Mary something or other. But I can't remember names. I'm bad with names. But that other guy, he died in 2009 or something like that, they said. And he had like this accent. I forget where he said he's from, but yeah. He had this accent and it was a little hard understanding him. So, um, turns out I do only have to pay five dollars for Mary Poppins. So, I go Tuesday, February, February, I can't talk, February 10th downtown to watch Mary Poppins. Um, anyway, uh, my classmate could not believe that Doctor Who also has novels. They go, she's like, really? I thought you only watched Doctor Who. How can you read a novel of Doctor Who? Hello? Mm -hmm. Doctor Who. It's a book. Maybe I should bring this with me next time and show her. See? I can read Doctor Who. <laughs> um, so anyway, <sighs> I want to share with you what I just wrote down in my diary. Um, I have other comments which I want to share with you with what isn't in my diary yet, which I'll include in a few minutes maybe. I really don't know. But, um... Let me find it here. Okay. And today's date, in case you are wondering, is Friday... I can't talk! Friday, January 30th, 2015. And, yes, I did have my meeting with my sister. It didn't go well. Um... She was intimidating and she was controlling our meeting like she was the parent of me. You see what I'm saying? She said that on Christmas Eve she was in the right about how she confronted me. Again, it's none of her business on how I film. I, like I explained to my um, counselor, I take up my camera every 45 minutes and um, the last time I filmed was 6.30 and it's 7.06 p.m. right now and I'll be filming um, in um, 10 minutes and usually if I'm bored or something I have it go all through 26 minutes long and then I cut it off for the last three minutes until the last three minutes but um if I just wanna 
have someone say, which I was doing, I was having my Uncle Rodney say hi to my friend Shaylee, and I usually have it run for a three minute thing because I like that standard three minutes. And so, um, my other cousin said, Nora, don't film me. I don't want to be on the Facebook. And I go, oh, okay. And then I went and took my seat and my sister's like, Nora, I don't want, want to sound mean, but do you know that you shouldn't be filming, okay? When somebody says not to film. And she's, and at the meeting today, she's like, oh, I was in the right about that. You should have just said, oh, 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 it's off, see, not filming. But that, that's where I disagree. And, and everybody has their own opinion. And, and I go, okay, whatever. That's why I said, okay, whatever. She goes, see, this is where I feel disrespected when you go, okay, whatever, because it seems like you don't care how I feel. So, and Shaylee brought up the subject of Bouquet's dog and how it growls at her. And she goes, well, what did she say again? Well, I can't control that. I can't control right. that. That's um, bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. She you should be able to control her dog from barking and growling at people. Mm-hmm. If I had a dog, I'd discipline him. Like that. Yeah. So. Um, and she denies the fact of insulting me back in April about the stomach and boob thing. Is that your stomach or boob? And hey, I told her I felt like getting off of my seat and slapping you one for that. And she said, you have so much rage. I don't remember saying that. Heck, if I were insulted like that in a restaurant, if somebody walked up to me and said that, I would have a right to slap them. Because they should know better not to say that to another human being. Am I right? Yeah, if you don't have anything nice, don't say anything at all. That's right. <clears throat> she asked me if there was anything else I wanted to discuss with her. There was, but I did not feel up to arguing more with her. If the talk with Kate didn't go well, I might as well not have anything to do, to do with her anymore. I don't think there isn't an other way to get through to her. Um, yeah, which is sad. Yeah, so... That's the whole point on, um, having this talk with her, and, and like I found on a comment, what I just shown Shaylee, what somebody said, that sisters should get along. If, for example, um, a mother dies of cancer, which in my situation she did, and the father is still around, then, um, then later on, a few years down the road, he dies. How are you going to cope without that sister around? See what I'm saying? And another thing. When she was discussing to me about the Christmas Eve situation, she said, Oh, I had a right to say what I had to say. That is too... Um annoyed to put up with you so he gave up something like that she said so I had to do something about it no she didn't it wasn't any of her business and and like I said earlier to you when I was discussing this with my therapist she agrees that it had nothing of her business and she shouldn't poke her nose in and she's also a two-faced person, my sister. Um, during our meeting, my friend Shaylee sat in, and when I said that she acted like the parent of me, 
She was like saying, Now, Nora, how are you gonna do this? And huh? how? Like, um, yeah. Like, she was like, I don't know. She was too controlling sounding. Almost patronizing me there in the, tonight. She's gonna look up patronizing on her phone. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, she doesn't know what it means. Huh. Yeah. Okay, let's look up patronizing so I can show you what it means. <laughs> That's what it she was doing. Wise ass. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. In and when I was like telling her about the shower door, the shower door handle thing broke off, the screws of the ha little handle thing broke off, and I was just showing her, and she was polite about it, and kind about it, and, 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 you know, when she was telling me a big car accident, um, was in town, she sounded normal, like a normal human being, like how I wanted her to talk to me, and, you know, all the time, instead of in a patronizing tone and controlling attitude that's what I mean by she was acting two-faced so I don't know if I should completely ignore her when she's being disrespectful or what cause it's gonna be hard if I want the niece in my life I quote niece because she really doesn't feel like a niece to me, to be honest with you. Not if, um, my sister doesn't really feel like my sister. She just feels like, um, my niece just feels like a person, just a person, you know. So, that's what I have to say about that. So, um, how am I really gonna ignore my sister if we have a family get together like for example if dad dies later your brother's wedding or yeah or something like that and if I don't want anything to do with her so see I'm filming and I'm putting this right here and I'll have it filmed for 26 minutes and I'll edit the first few minutes off to where I had the last three minutes on that. No big deal. I know that seems confusing, but no big deal. No big deal. And, and she doesn't give a damn on how she speaks to me either. She's like, I told her about the time in April where she took me to Noodles and Company and she was having a big deal out of it. Saying, oh, you mean you have to go in? You mean I have to wait for you? In that tone. And I did tell her back then that I had to go in and get my order right. And she goes, well, sorry. I don't remember that. Next time I'll be careful on how I say things. Okay. So, that's how my meeting went, guys. So, give me your own opinions about my situation here. If you had a situation like I do, and you have a little baby niece, and you're at a family get-together, would you want to um, mingle with the baby niece? And, you know, and how can you, um, try to be nice and kind around that sister of yours if she's going to be two-faced, you know what I mean? And my sister did say, too, that I hold grudges. And really, um, if I am affected from what happened 10 years ago in the past um the 
past affects the future. That's what she does not understand. Okay. And she did something too when I wasn't home that I did not like. I had my video site running in the background. And I meant to turn it off when I get home and stuff. And I found out she turned the volume down. She went into the room and turned the volume down when I wasn't home. And I know that for a fact because the speaker volume was down. It's like not okay for her to do that when I'm not home going into my personal stuff and turning down my speakers. And it's like how a person would say, oh, there's somebody's key under the mat. I'm going to grab the key under the mat, go in the door, and steal their stuff. It's the same as that. That's why I don't like it how she goes through my room. I should touch my computer. So, I don't want her to confront her about this because she might say, Oh, it was too loud. I don't want to hear your shit. So, I don't know. This is all I wanted to say. I'm going to edit this on Movie Maker now. So, um, again, it was Friday, January 30th, 2015. Goodbye. See you later. And a video will be up shortly after I, uh, watch another movie with my friend. And yes, I'm wearing this dude again. <laughs>